Secrets, a channel where my truth becomes your entertainment. So you may have noticed that there is something different about my face. I got braces! <laughs> and it's so funny, I swear every time y'all see me there's something different going on with me. If it's not me changing my hair or um, me changing apartments or just me changing all together, you're always seeing me in a state of change. <laughs> Which is okay if you're not changing, you're dying. But yeah, um, like I said, I got braces earlier today and I was able to go through the process of um, adjusting to my braces. So um, in this video, I'm going to give you just the process of me deciding on getting braces, um, choosing an orthodontist, the pricing, the process, and how I'm adjusting. And yeah, it's only been um, a not even 24 hours, so I can't give you the um, official overall thoughts. I might do a week and then a month, just give you constant updates on my braces, but I'll at least give you my initial thoughts on having braces. So yeah, if this is something you may be interested in, please continue watching. So first things first, why did I decide to get braces? If you watched my 24 things I'm looking forward to in year 24, I definitely mentioned um, wanting to get braces. I've kind of always wanted to correct my smile. Um, and I know a lot of people might be wondering what exactly is wrong with your smile. You photograph well, um, you have a nice smile, but um, my smile actually has been like a, a point of contingent I don't know if that's the right word I'm trying to use. Um, my style, my smile. <laughs> Y'all, excuse these braces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, my teeth were kind of a point of insecurity for me because although they photograph well and they're pretty nice, I just felt insecure with turning certain ways because my teeth weren't straight or like my bottom row with like this one crooked teeth. I just always felt like insecure about my teeth. And I guess it was just insecurity within me because other people didn't see it. But I just knew knew for myself I wanted straighter teeth. So um, I went through the process of getting all of my dental work done, getting my wisdom teeth extracted. And after paying all of that money to do so, I knew that the next steps were to get braces. It was just finding a good orthodontist and being able to pay for it. Which brings me to my next point, finding an orthodontist. Um, so I knew I was going to get braces after I graduated from grad school because I didn't want to take my grad photos with braces. Um, so I knew it was going to happen sometime this summer. Um, the hard part was just finding a good orthodontist. And I mean, me not being from Houston, me not knowing that many people in Houston that had braces, I knew I was going to have to look for an orthodontist myself. So I took to Google. Um, just to look for orthodontists in my area and the way I actually found my orthodontist was not necessarily on accident but it was out of frustration because the first orthodontist I was looking to see for a consultation all I wanted to know was if I can find an orthodontist that was going to give me a free consult right and I thought I found one because that orthodontist was really close it was in my area or whatever but um, every time I tried to set an appointment, they weren't answering the phone or like we were playing phone tag and we constantly kept missing each other. So I was just like, you know, I'm just going to Google some other places and um, I ended up stumbling across um, Dr. Heather Brown. And I actually leave her information or a link to her website in the description box below. This is not sponsored, obviously, but her services are amazing and yeah, it's something you should take a look into. So yeah, I found Dr. Heather Brown. I um, went in for the 
free consultation. The office was great. They were very warm and welcoming. A answered all of the questions that, you know, someone like me who's extra would have. They actually gave me my treatment plan. They let me know how much it would cost, the types of braces. I just felt just honestly so much warmth from that office. And they had a little spinny wheel and I got a free $10 movie gift card. So I was like, oh, I'm so, cause you know, free. Love that stuff. So yeah, and they had amazing reviews on Google. And I knew that I was gonna want to <laughs> get services from Dr. Brown just because of the uh, exclusivity of it. You know it's a good place when there's a wait list to have an appointment because I had my ortho consult in like June. I want to say like mid-June after I moved into my apartment and I did not have my um, braces actually put on until late July, literally the day before August. <laughs> so it's just to tell you that, okay, this place is really popular. People are giving money to this practice. It must be good and it's black owned, hashtag I support black owned businesses and it's just great. So I have no issues with the orthodontist whatsoever. I love her so, so much. She's in close proximity to where I live, so it's not a long commute to get um, go back and forth to appointments. The only thing that I do have an issue with, and I guess it comes with, it's the, it's the, it's, it's the thing that I said I was positive, but it's also negative, is that they're always booked and busy. So it's kind of hard to um, squeeze in or like make the appointments fit my schedule. I just kind of gotta make it happen the way it's gonna happen. But it's okay because the services are done. So yeah, I kind of just like mixed a few things together, but that's okay. So my treatment plan, I do have traditional metal braces. I chose metal braces over Invisalign because I have this weird thing about putting things in and out of my mouth and I know when I actually get the retainers I'm gonna have to deal with that but for the duration of braces I just needed the security and knowing that hey the treatment's gonna go the way it's gonna go and unless I'm not brushing my teeth or like taking care of my oral hygiene it's gonna go smoothly and traditional braces are just the quickest way to go. I chose metal braces over ceramic braces because I still want to drink coffee and tea and possibly eat curry and things that had dye in it and I just didn't want to change my diet because of this. Uh, I mean, I am changing my diet but I didn't want to drastically change what I was used to because of braces. Because I can do soft foods and I can do not eating chips and popcorn and gum and whatever. But tea and coffee are staples for me. So I just could not, I could not, I could not part with that. So I got traditional metal braces. The duration of my braces journey is 18 months. That was the estimate that the orthodontist gave me. My goal is to get these off as soon as I possibly can because 18 months I was doing the math. I'm gonna be going through two birthdays with braces. That's not the move. That's not my narrative. That is not my ministry. So, uh, yeah, I need these off as soon as possible. As far as retainers, I did ask about um, a permanent retainer for my um, bottom teeth. They said I was a perfect candidate for it. So even when I do the retainers, it's going to be um, permanent retainers for the bottom and then um, traditional ones for the top. So at least it's only one thing I'm taking in and out of my mouth, which is perfect for me. Thank you you dr brown so the price i am paying in total around five thousand dollars i think it's like five thousand one hundred and something don't quote me i will actually leave the actual price somewhere on the screen or in the description box below and obviously i'm not paying all of that up front i'm doing a payment plan so my down payment was um, 958, 958, 
and then my monthly payments are just $201 which is fine over the duration of 18 months the price was actually a deterrent for me getting braces because I did not want to spend that much I tried using my dad's insurance that didn't go well so um I mean the price is what it is it's okay I just wish it was a little bit cheaper but you know at this point you spend money on frivolous things anyways five thousand dollars in the grand scheme of it I mean it is a lot of money don't don't get me wrong but I would have probably spent that and other bills and other things moving forward so you know it's something I want I'm gonna just have to deal with it right All right <laughs> so my experience today getting braces it was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be I researched the heck out of braces I've talked to my friends who had braces or currently have braces and they were just like but here it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt this process like it's gonna hurt getting braces your braces put on so I was I was very nervous and I went in there very nervous but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be I they answered all of my questions the only thing that was very uncomfortable about getting braces was not it had nothing to do with my teeth that's the funny part it was them having to constrain my tongue and the little plastic piece kind of poking at my um at the bottom of my mouth other than that the process wasn't too bad I didn't feel too much discomfort I mean my mouth was very dry and that whole drying of my mouth felt very heavy but the actual braces process did not hurt um and they even commented on how good I was doing <laughs> and I was like you know you just gotta do what you gotta do get in get out right as far as my initial reaction to my braces she did give me a mirror so I could see the process and I was gonna look during the process but I figured why not wait until she finished to just see the final results I don't know how I thought I was gonna look with braces I don't know if I thought I was gonna look way worse than I did but um, the view was kind of underwhelming I thought I was gonna just look like the worst thing ever and I will talk about how I feel about my braces at the end of the video but for the most part I didn't see too drastic of a change so I guess that's okay but they did leave me with a goodie bag and I'm going to show you all what's in my goodie bag because I'm so excited about this goodie bag and this is another reason why I recommend um, Dr. Heather Brown's office because they give you gifts, they can have rewards programs, they do all of these great things to make getting braces fun and now I see why her reviews are through the roof because she's so amazing. So yeah let me show you what's in the goodie bag. So they gave me a bag filled with great things. The first thing they gave me was a t-shirt and it just it just you know their logo t-shirt um, and if I wear this to every one of my appointments I get ortho bucks and then so many ortho bucks I can get like redeemed gift cards and a gift basket and I'm just like okay I wear this shirt every single appointment yay they also give you ortho bucks if you don't break your brackets and you have great oral hygiene or you for kids if you have good grades and I'm like oh must be nice uh, does that count for college students granted I already graduated but you know still they also gave me the mouthwash that they recommend I use which is so funny because I just bought a crap load of mouthwash from Sam's Club I might still use it but I might just buy more of these since I'm assuming this is the recommended mouthwash they also gave me a travel pack which I'm assuming contains everything that I would need when I'm not at home yes yeah, so I have a toothbrush I have the little to coat toothbrush that you just brush in between the brackets oh they gave me little wax the little dental wax if my things are um, hurting 
a little mirror, but I'm like, how can I, how can I see? But okay, floss. And yeah, just the basics. And it has their monogram on it. That was nice. I actually told her about me getting a toothbrush for in my purse. And she was like, oh, I'll just give you a pack. And I'm like, oh, thanks. They also gave me some toothpaste, the kind of toothpaste that they want me to use, which is so crazy because I think I just purchased toothpaste recently. But um, now I know the toothpaste that they want me to use. So I'm going to start purchasing this one. They also gave me uh, cleaning tablets for my retainer when I do finally get my retainer, which I thought was really sweet. But yeah, that's really sweet of them that they thought about my retaining process beginning of the stage. So I'm just going to put this somewhere in my closet so I don't lose it. And then going back to the retainer process, they gave me a sonic cleaner for the retainer. I don't know exactly what this is. I'm going to do my research on it. But that is so sweet of them. Like, they're thinking ahead. And I like that about them. They also gave me a lot, and I mean a lot, of needles to thread um, my floss. Because, you know, we have braces and need a special kind of floss. So they gave me a lot of these. Um... I think they gave me like a lot quite a few they just threw them in the bag and I guess if I keep going for my appointments I can just keep asking for a thread if I run out right they also gave me a lot of wax that was sweet of them because I kept mentioning the wax so that's great to put on my brackets and my brackets start bothering me um, which they don't bother me as of yet I can guess you can say the only thing about my braces that does it's not even irritate it's just weird it's just it's a weird sensation in my mouth but for the most part they're not painful they're not scraping they're just there moving right along the final two things that they put in my bag are um what i'm really super excited about because i was not expecting this and i actually went out and purchased one of these items that i'm definitely gonna return and that is a water pick. Can you see that? Can you see this? They actually provided a whole water pick and I purchased one. The only thing about this water pick, I don't like the color, but I mean, it's okay. It doesn't matter. It's a free water pick. And it's literally the same brand of the water pick I just purchased. So that's kind of great. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. They just thought of everything. And the final item that they gave me was an electric toothbrush. And this toothbrush looks great. First of all, it's not even a battery powered toothbrush, which is the one I have now. It is a chargeable one. And I'm just like, wow, like y'all really do think of every single thing. Now the price kind of makes sense because they do give you like a lot of stuff. So now I'm not too mad about the price because I feel like if I was to pay this price at another orthodontist office and they didn't give me anything, I would have been sad. But I mean, I went in not expecting anything and coming out with all this great stuff. I can't be mad. I can't be mad. And you get great service. Like, I cannot be mad. Like, they gave me my own toothbrush. And I had to replace the head of my old toothbrush anyway. So I guess I'm going to shelf that, take the battery out, obviously, and shelf it because this is what they recommend so I'm going to use what they recommend and shelf the other one until I take the braces off and then I can just use that one moving forward oh and then they also gave me some floss so that was what was in the goodie bag and I was super super duper 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 excited about getting that bag and Dr. Brown was just like oh yeah we're giving you a lot of stuff to go home with I'm like yes I'm so excited like I'm so freaking excited so yeah my overall thoughts about having braces as far as aesthetic wise I'm still adjusting to having braces I don't particularly like the way I look with braces but obviously it's going to take some getting used to they're new that was something I never had before but I just think of it as this way I could live another day looking at my smile and critiquing it and not liking the way it looks or I could look at these braces for 18 months knowing that it's going to change the thing I have an issue with so it's okay I'll deal with it I think it's just 
interesting because when I take pictures, I don't really see anything wrong with my teeth. So now when I do take pictures, I have to be mindful of my braces and whatever. But you know, that's that's very minor. And you know, I'll get over that. So it's whatever. As far as discomfort, I did eat with braces. It was hard to chew. Like I couldn't eat my little breadsticks I got from Olive Garden because I got some soup. I couldn't chew the chicken and I don't know if it was like me not being able to chew it in my mouth just being sore. Um, but I was unable to really chew the chicken so I was like swallowing a lot of it. It was weird. But that's okay. It's, it wasn't too bad. Would I recommend braces for, you know, adult braces? I mean, if there's something that you really, really want, yes, get it. You only live once and, you know, it's a, I mean, 18 months is a long time. But I was gonna say it's a small, it's a small, you know, price to pay. 18 months is like literally two pregnancies. But you know, I'm gonna learn to love it. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna find a way to make these braces work for me. I guess what I am excited about is that these braces make my lips look fuller. So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> For this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you don't like this video please don't thumbs down just go watch another video if you want me to continue the series of me just talking about my adult braces experience please let me know in the description box below and if you want to join the unbottled secrets family please hit that subscribe button and that bell if you want a notification anytime I decide to post a video and if you feel so inclined to follow me on my socials my social media platforms are as follows and I shall bid you adieu because I'm exhausted and I need to eat and brush my teeth and shower because I actually got to go to work tomorrow so I shall catch you in the next video bye y'all